So how did it go yesterday? Been dying to find out. Ah, oh, pretty well, actually. We had a steady stream of people from virtually the moment we opened. Oh, good. It didn't really tail off until about half past four. How much did we take? That's the important thing. Well, I haven't had a definite figure yet, but everyone seemed very pleased. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> we even had a minibus party on the way to the Cotswolds. Really? Yes. They saw our sign on the Borchester Bypass, apparently. Anyway, they were delighted with it all. They stayed quite a long time. Some of them were obviously very knowledgeable about flower arranging. I hope they put money in the collection bowls. Oh, yes. Well, I'm sure they did. Anyway, if we have another good day today, we ought to make a real impression on the fundraising effort. Yeah, let's hope so. Now then, Mum, we're going to have to leave all souls fairly smartish after the service. I know. So not too much gossiping, please. I know what you're like with your friends from Darrington. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> well, we need to get ourselves back to Ambridge ASAP. I'm well aware of that, thank you, Jennifer. Want to get round to the watering can before the festival gets too busy? Of course. We need to keep the flowers at their best. Yeah. To make all the difference when we come to auction them. Oh, yes, I I'm planning to buy a few myself, for the laurels. Oh, I'm sure they'll love them. They do so cheer the place up, fresh flowers. Mm. Oh, Mum, could I give you a few of my leaflets to hand round? What leaflets are these, dear? Oh, our new event. Didn't I tell you? Swishing. Swishing? <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to be a real money spinner. And Sabrina says it's very now. Well, quite possibly, <laughs> but would you mind telling me what on earth it is? Hi, Dad. You still waiting? Ah, hi, Tom. Oh, he shouldn't be long now. He phoned half an hour ago to say he was in Borchester. Good. I'm just off for a bite to eat. Uh, what time were you up this morning? Before six. I've been working in the polytunnels. Oh, that's dedication. On a Sunday morning, too. Well, I was awake at half five. So I thought I might as well get on with it. I don't think my body clock's adjusted to not being a dairy farmer. No, I know. It'll take some getting used to. But it's going to make this farm so much more efficient. Oh, well, I hope so. And it couldn't have come at a better time with the Bellingham's launch this week. Yeah. You're going to be busy. Flat out, more like. Um, well, um, if you want me to put a few more hours in the polytunnels, that'll be fine. Oh, could you, Dad? That would be brilliant. Yeah, no problem. Oh, um, did you check on Lonely Cow, by the way? Yeah, I put some fresh straw down this morning. Has Alistair confirmed Tuesday? Yep, two o'clock. Right. So we'll know by Friday, either way. Fingers crossed. If she's positive, we're going to have to contact all the buyers from last week. Nightmare. Uh, let's not go there, OK? Hopefully she'll be fine. And if she's not, well, we'll deal with it. Oh, here he is now. This is the guy from Cornwall, right? Yeah, yeah. He and his wife have just taken over a new tenancy. Huh. They're building up a dairy herd. He must have started out pretty early. You need to take it steady in those things. Uh, morning, Jago. Hi, Mr Archer. Oh, no, it's Tony, please. Um, and you've met my son, Tom. Yeah, hi, Tom. Hi. Good journey? Pretty good. Well, won't take long to get loaded up. Oh, and you fancy a cuppa before we start? Tom was just taking a break. Uh, you shouldn't hang about, really. I can recommend a bacon sandwich. It's homegrown. Of course, it's your own brand, isn't it? Yep, we're very proud of it. In that case, I'd be an idiot not to take you up on the offer. Oh, great. Ah, let's go and get the kettle on, shall we? So it's a sort of glorified jumble sale, is that it? No, it most certainly is not. Well, that's what it says here. People bring along one or more items, and however many they want to swap, and they get issued with a voucher for that number of items. Oh, I see. Right, well, you know, I think that's enough. Oh, yes, you don't want to fill the vase to the top. <laughs> Just the cricket team's display to do now. You're going to have to provide some sort of changing area. People will want to try things on. It's all in hand, Mum. Hoping Caroline's going to help out with the rails and the curtain materials. Oh, is she? Mm-hmm. And Sabrina's in charge of putting it all together. And how will it raise money for the organ fund? Well, there's an entry fee of 
ten pounds for everybody who takes part. Well, it's all on a leaflet, Mum. Oh, I see. And if it's as popular as we think it will be, we should do very well. Good morning, ladies. Everything under control. Oh, hello, Neil. We thought we'd just top up the vases while we were still quiet. Oh, good idea. <laughs> And I've got some good news. Mm -hmm. We've got another twelve hundred pounds for the organ fund. Really? Mm. <laughs> That's wonderful. Who from? The Felpisham Church Conservation Trust. The letter was waiting when I got in yesterday. Hey, well done, Neil. Well, I thought I'd make an announcement later on when there are a few more people around. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> We're getting there. Though there's a long way to go yet. Oh, yes, I know. But as you say, Neil, it's a, it's a very promising start. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. I thought you'd want to know. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, here, take one of Jennifer's flyers. Oh, thanks. Oh, what's this, then? Ambridge's first swishing event? Yeah, well, um... Show it to Susan and, and Emma, of course. I'm sure she'll be interested. <laughs> I'm not sure I approve of my Susan going out swishing. <laughs> what is it exactly? <laughs> I had to ask the same question. Some sort of jumble sale? We were dead lucky to get this farm tenancy. It just came at the right time for us. You were both from farming backgrounds? Yeah. I grew up on a dairy farm. My dad was a herdsman. Oh, right. And Maren's from a farm on the north coast. She's got two brothers at home, though. There's no way we could all get a living from it. And then this tenancy came up. Yeah, we jumped it, of course. It's still going to be tough getting started. But there's no way we're going to miss it. Well done, you. And uh, what are your plans? We're going for a grass-based system. Maybe going to go organic later. Oh, this is the right animal for you, then. Yeah, I, I, I can't tell you how excited we were when we saw your sale prospectus. Good grazers. They're exactly what we wanted. These are the best. Mum and Dad have done a brilliant job with the genetics. I could see that from the stats. Then when I saw the cattle, I just knew we had to have them. Mm -hmm. oh, glad they were what you're looking for. They're perfect. Well, I couldn't be more pleased. To see them going as foundation stock for a couple just starting out. Thank you. Yeah, Pat and I were so lucky with our foundation stock. I wish you all the very best. Enjoy them. Thank you, Tony. That means a lot. Oh, the important thing is, they're going on to the next generation. <clears throat> yeah, OK, Dad. Can I get you another coffee, Jago? No, thanks. That was great. Another bacon sarnie? Nope. But you're right. Best bacon I've had in a long while. Ah. Now maybe we ought to get those heifers loaded up. Oh, I don't know about you, Jennifer, but I'm about ready for a cup of tea. <sighs> Can we hang on a few more minutes? I was hoping Sabrina would have been here by now. She's not the most reliable of people. Oh, don't say that. We're organising this swishing event together. What is she supposed to be doing? Well, basically, the whole layout of the hall. We're going to need a welcome area where people check in their donations and the changing area, of course, with mirrors. Who's uh, supplying those? Well, Caroline again, hopefully. And then there are the places for displaying the clothes. Oh, it's going to take some setting up. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to be busy organising the helpers. And we're going to need quite a few. Sounds as if it could be a real scrum if you're not careful. Well, no, I've thought that through, and that's why we're going to need plenty of helpers. But if it turns out to be really popular... Which I hope it will. And they all go after the same things, that's when it'll get rough. <laughs> no, it's going to be fine, Mum. Everyone's going to get a glass of champagne at the start. Oh, that's a nice idea. Mm. And then they'll have half an hour to go round and decide what they want. And after that, we'll declare the swish is formally open. Hi, oh, it's me again. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> with a clipboard this time. Oh, well, I'm just making a list for Alan. Now, is there anyone who needs a special mention when he gives his thank you speech? Oh, I'm not sure it's a good idea to mention names at all. No? It's usually better to say a general thank you to everyone who's helped and supported us. That way, nobody feels left out. Oh, I see. Oh, but there's one thing he can mention. What's that? We need contributions for the church tombola at this year's fete. If he can put that in his speech. Oh, OK. I'll mention that. Now, anything else? Hmm. I'm sorry to disagree, Mum. But there are two people who definitely deserve special mention for all they've done, and it's Jill and Clary. Well, 
All we can say is, the very best of luck. Yeah. I hope it goes really well. Thank you. We couldn't have hoped for a better start having cattle of this quality. Yeah, I think they'll do you well. Right. Well, I'll be on my way. Thank you, Tony. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. And you, Tom. Cheers, Jago. Safe journey. See you then. That's it then. No more dairy cattle. You okay, Dad? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Tom. Last week was hard, but today feels very different. Yeah? Hmm. I actually feel quite elated. I think it's meeting Jago and hearing about his farm. And their hopes, him and Merrin. He certainly has plans. Yeah. I liked him. To be honest, I saw something of myself in him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All the passion and enthusiasm that went into breeding those cattle over years and years. Mm, yeah, I know. The times I remember you and Mum sitting at the kitchen table going through the bull catalogues. <laughs> oh, it was a vital part of the business. We always knew the breeding was the key. Everything needed careful thought. Mm. We really love those cows, Tom. I know. Somehow, sending them off to an anonymous buyer would have made it seem like the end of something. But knowing they're going to people like Jago and Marion, well, you know that the work's going to go on. Yeah. Hmm. They're going to be building on what your mother and I achieved. Of course they are. Uh, farming goes on. A new generation picks up the baton, and away they go. And it's great. Well, I'm glad you feel like that. Mm. Uh, now then, Tom, um, how do you feel about nipping down to the bull for a lunchtime pint? And your dad is in the chair. Morning. Oh, hi, Bren. Any tea in the pot? Yeah, yeah, get yourself a mug. OK. How are you this morning? Yeah, not bad. Bit on the late side, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not in the office till this afternoon. Ah. Got some possible tenants to show around number three. Oh yeah, promising. Very promising. They're both in steady jobs and they need a place in a hurry. Well, there you go then, sorted. <laughs> That'll be nice. Depends how fussy they are. It needs a lick of paint here and there. But I'm on the case of the decorators. Well then, it's all in hand. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some good news for Lillian. Might actually put a smile on her face for a change. There you go. Oh. Thanks, Roy. You're a lifesaver. No problem. After that, I've got a few things to do. Boy, just... Oh, dear, excuse me. <laughs> you should have had another half an hour in bed. <laughs> I wish. Well, what time's your appointment? Uh, ten. Might have been pushing it, then. Uh, to be honest, I didn't sleep particularly well. well. It's not like you. I know. Stuff just kept going round and round in my head. What sort of stuff? Oh, you know. Life stuff. Mm, right. Look, um, if you're going to be in town later on, how about we meet up and have a bit of lunch? Honestly, there's no need, Roy. I'm fine. Oh, come on. I could do with a treat myself. I'm on a day off. And I was thinking of going to town anyway. Hayley tells me I need some new work shirts. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, yeah. Thanks. I'd like that. Great. Ah, it's difficult to know where to put your money these days without tying it up for a long time. Which you don't want to do? Not all of it, anyway. We're going to need to keep some of it fairly accessible. Mm. So this guy's going to sort you out, is he? This financial advisor bloke? Dan Crossman? Oh, we're hoping so. Robert Snell recommended him. Apparently he did a really good job for them. Yeah, well, before you salt it all away in some lucrative little investment trust... Remember, there are some bits of kit we badly need on the farm. Now, hang on, Tom. This is our pension we're talking about here. Yeah. If it comes to that, there's dairy equipment that badly needs replacing, including the separator. Pat, I thought we'd agreed. We're going to sort out the savings plan first. And we will. Right. So, for the moment, Tom, you can forget any thought of a new tractor. Oh, yeah, OK. Oh, that'll be Oliver. Well, have a good morning. Oh, thanks, sir. You want me to bring back a couple of pigeons? Yeah, why not? That's assuming they hit anything. Yeah, <laughs> certainly no guarantee on that front. Morning, Oliver. Morning. Morning, Oliver. You've got a lovely day for it anyway. Yes, haven't we just? See you later, love. Have a good time, both of you. <sighs> I suppose I ought to be making a move too soon.
You're working with Morris today? Uh, no, he's going to have to manage on his own this morning. I've got shopping to do. Shopping? <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. I'm not trawling round Underwoods for new socks. I'm off to the wholesalers. I see. Yeah, we're flat out on casseroles tomorrow. I've got Morris coming in for the extra half day. Oh, right. I've got to treble check we've got everything we need. We can't afford any hold-ups. It's going to be quite a week, isn't it? With the big launch coming up soon. Yep. Who knows? We could look back in a few years' time and see that this was the moment the business went big time. I'd been expecting a wonderful anniversary dinner in a very special restaurant, and there we were, sitting down to a Chinese takeaway. Oh, bit of a letdown, eh? No, of course it wasn't Caroline's fault. It's just one of those things that can happen when you're running a place like that. Oh, even so, disappointing. Absolutely. But it's more than that, Tony. It's not just the occasional crisis that throws a spanner in the works. It, but it sometimes seems as though Caroline's work dominates everything. Right. I can tell you it's not what I had in mind for this stage in our lives. I thought we might be doing more travelling together. Mm. Nothing planned. Well, what's the point? She doesn't seem able to get away. Well, not for more than the odd day or two. Oh, well, that's tough. Yes. But I, I've been trying to fill up my time gamefully. Oh. I've been doing more milking stints for Ed. Oh, but he's glad of that. And I've offered to put in more shifts in the community shop, if they have me. Oh, I'm sure they will. We'll see. Anyway, I, I'm really enjoying this spot of rough shooting. Thanks again for the invitation. Oh, glad you could make it. Feels like my life has been stuck on hold, too. What? You mean losing the cows? Yeah. It's quite an adjustment, I can tell you. Mm. Even though I'd been doing a lot less milking, I still knew they were there. Which was important. Yeah. yeah. You'll understand this, Oliver. For me, the herd was the heart of that farm. For most of my working life, I've been calling myself a dairy farmer. It's a wonderful thing to be. Well, it was. Now I'm having to get my head round the fact that I'm not that anymore, so what am I? Well, you're still a farmer. Ah, not quite the same, is it? Well... No, I was thinking while I was working in the polytunnels yesterday. To be honest, anyone could do this job. Now, I can't go along with that. You're a highly skilled operator. Oh, yeah, yes, at breeding and managing dairy cows, but now we don't have any. So what am I now, eh? A casual worker? Hardly. Yeah, well, that's what it feels like to me at the moment. And, of course, I can't say anything, because I've got to be strong for Pat. She feels it like billy -o. Hang on, look! Oh, yeah. Are you going to bag the blighter, or am I? Be my guest. There you go, one white wine spritzer. Fallon will take our food order in a minute. Oh, thanks, Roy. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. So, how'd it go this morning? Yeah, pretty good. They're very interested. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, did they actually sign up? Um, not quite. Just a few details to iron out. But I think they will. They're keen to move quite quickly. Yeah. In the next couple of weeks, if possible. Well done, sis. Oh, thanks. At last, I've got some good news for Matt and Lillian before they head home on Wednesday. They're home soon, then? Yeah, but not back in the office till next Monday. So they say, anyway. Well, sorting tenants out for number three should definitely earn you a few brownie points. <sighs> Let's hope so. Um, unfortunately, I haven't done so well with my own accommodation. Look, I told you. There's no pressure in that department, right? Yeah, thanks. I thought there might be something going at Coasty's place. She'd mentioned that one of her flatmates was moving out. Oh, yeah? But it's fallen through, apparently. Coasty called me this morning. Rachel's changed her mind. Oh, well, don't worry. Something will turn up. Yeah, it needs to, for all of us. I'm sure it can't come too soon for Abby and Phoebe. <laughs> don't worry about them. They're fine, really. It's not great, though. Yeah, but they'll survive. Oh, hi, Tom. Hi, Roy. Oh, Hi, Brenda. Hiya, Tom. I didn't see you there. How's it going? Oh, good, thanks. And you? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Business OK? Pretty good, actually. You heard we've got a launch at Bellingham soon. You know, the uh, frozen ready meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it goes well. Thanks. Right, well, uh, I'd better get on. 
Places to go, people to meet, you know. Well, nice to see you anyway. Yeah, yeah, and you. See you, Roy. Yeah, yeah, bye, Tom. He's looking well. Yep. Still building his business empire. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. He deserves success. Right. What do you want to eat? Um, fancy one of the sharing platters. Okay. Then I'd better head back to the office and call Lillian with the good news. Ah, there we are. Three plump pigeons. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> they are pretty fat, aren't they? Uh, just the way I like them. Time of the year, I suppose. Sit yourself down, Oliver. I'll stick the kettle on. Anything I can do? Oh, no. no. Won't take a minute. Bread and cheese, OK? Perfect. Well, I think we might have some rather nice ham. My goodness, a feast! <laughs> you're, um, you're happy with your three birds? Oh, very happy, thanks. Uh, as you say, they're nice and plump. Uh, stuffed full of Brian's oilseed rape. Oh, you'll have you feeling guilty. Oh, don't be. We've done him a favour taking out a few of them. Of course we have. Now we get to enjoy our reward. <laughs> Everybody wins. So, uh, tell me, uh, how do you do them? Oh, to be honest, I leave them to Pat. She usually does them in a casserole. Me too. I rather like them done with venison, sort of, you know, game stew. Uh, right, uh, that's a farmhouse cheddar, mm. or Borsetshire blue if you prefer it. Wonderful. Um, cut yourself some bread. Thanks. I'm afraid we've only got shop-bought milk. What do you mean? It's Grange Farm milk, isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course it is. Well, what could be better? Yeah, sorry. Got so used to taking it straight from the tank, Anything in a bottle doesn't feel like the real thing. Well, I can assure you that Ed's is certainly the real thing. Yeah, absolutely. Right, well, I'll make the tea. Uh, Tom mentioned that your organic milk supplier isn't too far away. Yeah, yes. Chap over at Little Croxley. Name's Jimmy Edmonds. Ah. Is it good stuff? Oh, very good. But it's just not Bridge Farms. Well, quite. We've been over there, Pat and I. It's got the most amazing pastures. Chock full of clover. Oh, well, that's the important thing. Yeah, exactly. But the real test will come later this week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, first yoghurts made with it went to Underwoods today. So, fingers crossed that no-one's going to notice the difference. <sighs> yeah, what is it, Brenda? How's the holiday going? Have you dragged me to the phone for a bit of social chit-chat? No, no, I've got some good news. That'll make a nice change. It's about number three, the green. I've found some tenants. Oh, at last. They're a couple, 30-ish, I'd say. Uh, she's a teacher. He works at Underwoods. Good references. Excellent. They're keen to move in as soon as possible. Well, get their signatures on a contract and they can move in when they like. Uh, yeah, OK. Is the, um, is the redecorating done now? Oh, well, that's the point. We may not need to redecorate after all. Brenda, I gave you clear instructions to get the painters in there ASAP. Are you telling me you haven't sorted it yet? No, of course I have. They're all ready to go. Oh, there's no problem then, is there? This golden couple of yours can move in as soon as the work's finished. Lillian, I wish you'd listen to me. We don't need the painters because this couple are happy to do the work themselves. What? They'll do the painting. All they're asking for is a small rent reduction in return. They're asking for what? A small rent reduction, like £25 a month, just for the first 12 months. Well, I hope you put them straight. But seemed like a pretty sensible arrangement to me. We get tenants in the property quickly and we save on decorating costs. Brenda, we have discussed this already. You know exactly what rent we need on that property. Uh, so you're ready to say goodbye to two good tenants? Well, if I'm not prepared to pay the going rate, of course I am. But that's stupid. Now, you listen to me, Brenda. You're not paid to negotiate special deals. Your job is to carry out my instructions. Uh, great. And my instructions are to get that place painted and let it out at the specified rent. <sighs> now, kindly get on and do your job. Lillian! Lillian! Oh! I thought I'd ask Caroline to be the meter and greet her. She's awfully busy, I know, but she's so good at that sort of thing. What do you think, darling? What's that? Caroline is the meter and greeter. Sorry, Jenny, I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Oh, the swishing evening. I need someone to greet our guests. Oh. Where their donations will be checked in. What sort of donations? Brian, 
They're clothes, of course. Ah, I see. We'll need someone really stylish to welcome them and issue the vouchers. And then people to sort the clothes. And then there's the coat room. Susan might be good for that. But it's the displaying of the clothes that's really crucial. Is it? Well, absolutely. I'm counting on there being some very posh frogs. <laughs> the last thing we need is for them all to end up in a big heap. Uh, Brian, pass that butter knife, will you, darling? What? Oh, yeah, here. Maybe I'll give Sabrina a call later on. Yeah, you do that. Brian, you might try to sound interested. A bit of support wouldn't go amiss. After all, it is for the organ fund. And you'll get it, Jenny. <laughs> but at this precise moment, I've got other things to worry about. Well, the dairy, I suppose. Well, yes, as a matter of fact. Well, I thought that was all in hand. We're going to have the first cattle coming in before we know it. And as of now, we still don't have a team of milkers in place. Well, I'm sure Rob's got it under control. Yeah. And you've got Becky all sorted now. And you sounded so pleased with that second assistant manager, the Filipino chap. John Rafael Mercado. Yeah. But wasn't there a problem with his visa, which meant he was tricky to get? And Rob got that sorted out all right? Well, no, he didn't, actually. The only way he could get Mercado was through the agency. It was oh. them who got it all sorted. Oh, well, hiring a few milkers shouldn't be too much of a problem, I wouldn't have thought. Well, that's what I need to find out. I've asked Rob to come round this morning. Well, I'm sure he'll have it all under control. Well, I hope you're right. I'm due to update the board on Friday. I'd like to be in a position to tell them we're bang on schedule. Yes, yes, I can understand that. So you can see why I can't get terribly worked up about your swirling. Oh, oh swishing. Oh, good, he's on time. Uh, come on in, Rob. Morning. Morning. Hello, Rob, how are you? Oh, fine, thanks, Jennifer. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, that'd be nice, thank you. Uh, I think we'll go straight through to the office, Jenny. Oh, yes, right, OK. I'll bring it through. If you would. Thanks, Jennifer. Now then, Rob, I need you to bring me up to speed in a few things. Hi, Lillian, it's Brenda. Um, just to update you on those prospective tenants... As instructed, I told them we weren't able to offer a rent reduction and they said they were no longer interested in the property, as I told you they would. So I've confirmed next week with the decorators uh, and I'll go on the key for tenants for number three. I'll be in the office later if you want to call me back. Is that the house on the green? Oh, hi Phoebe. Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Please. I wasn't listening in or anything. No, no, of course not. I just wanted to catch Lillian before she went out. Not good news about the tenants. Oh, there'll be others. A shame you can't take it. It would have been perfect, wouldn't it? That place. Uh, not really. Oh, I know it, it's not possible, I was just saying. I meant to ask you, um, how did the sleepover go at the weekend? Oh, that. It was cool. So what did you and Ellie get up to? I watched some TV, had a chat to a few people on Facebook. Sounds like fun. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. So, Amside must be getting new rental properties all the time. Only ones that want doing up. At least you get to see them first. So if there was anything. Yep, true. It's not easy, I don't suppose. Being in someone else's house it makes it harder to bring your friends back. Yeah, it's kind of you to think of it. It's just I can... I can see how it must feel. Listen, uh, I'm sorry you and Abby are still having to share. We manage. OK, I'm going to have to go. OK. Uh, don't be late for the school bus, will you? I won't. Bye, then. Yeah, uh, bye. Morning, Brenda. Oh, hi, Dad. How's it going? Uh, not brilliant, to be honest. Lillian's still in a vile mood. You'd have thought she'd have mellowed on holiday. Uh, don't let her get to you, love. Just do your job as best you can and ignore her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But what with all the other stuff? Uh, hey, come on, love. This isn't like you. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. No, no, it's all right, you. You've had a lot to cope with lately. I just don't know where I want to be and I don't know what I want to be doing. It's like I'm just stumbling about in the dark. I'll tell you what, 
Why don't you pop over later on? We'll have a chat about it. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, you can get out, can't you, later on? Yeah, why not? Might as well make the most of the bosses being away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Let's forget about staffing for the moment. Can we just focus on other issues? Mm, sure. Where do you want to start? How about silage? OK. Uh, well, all clamps are complete and the first cut's in. The quality's good and in tonnage terms we're bang on forecast. Good. And what about the AD unit? What's the position there? Well, uh, I spoke to the contractors yesterday. Construction's basically complete. Uh, instrument panel's on order and she'll be here in ten days. So we're right on schedule there. OK. On to the parlour. What's the state of play there? Construction's about halfway through. No problems? No, oh, no, nothing to speak of. All routine stuff, really. Mm. Which brings us to cattle. Uh, well, as you know, the orders are in for the first cohort. They're coming from Hungary and Poland, mostly. And I should have a delivery date by the end of the week. So what you're telling me is everything's practically ready to go. Mm -hmm. Except for the small detail that we don't have anyone to milk the cows. I really don't see it as a problem, Brian. You don't? Huh. I'd have thought having a, a team of milkers on the payroll was pretty crucial to the whole operation. Well, yes, of course it is, but we don't need to have the whole team in place by day one. Of course they've got to be in place. Now, Brian, come on. Here's your coffee. I made a pot in case you wanted a second cup. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. There we are. Hope you like chocolate chip cookies, Rob. Uh, great, yes. Thanks, Jennifer. A good home. Great, well, I'll leave you to it. I can see you're busy. Yes, thanks. You're welcome. Really, Brian, you don't have to worry about milking staff. I put feelers out in this country and in Europe. I'm confident that we'll be able to recruit the full team. And how long is it going to take you? Well, it's hard to say, but don't worry. I'll find them. Well, I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need to tell the board we'll have a full team in place by the time the cattle are here. I'm not sure that's possible. It is if we use the agency. Oh, well, yes. They got us but... our second assistant manager. And Jolly will get us the rest of the team. It'll cost. Well, I'm aware of that, but it's what I want done. OK. You're the boss. So, can you get on to them, find out their terms, and get back to me ASAP? OK. Good. Now, how about a coffee and one of these rather good biscuits? And I'm running the business single-handed while they're swanning around on holiday. You're doing a wonderful job, love. That's not what Lillian thinks. Oh. oh, Dad, what am I doing there? All they want is someone to answer the phones and keep the diary up to date. Oh, come on, love. It's true. When I think of all the hopes I had when I finished at uni, and here I am back at square one. <laughs> not really, you what about all the experience you've had? At what? All I've learned at Amside is how to lie to clients and massage Lillian's insecurities. Oh, Bren. Oh, what am I going to do, Dad? I've got zero love life, a job I hate, and I'm living in my brother's house and making life difficult for him. <sighs> well, put like that, doesn't sound great. It's not funny. I know, love. Of course Phoebe wants a ring back. I'd be the same. Oh, yeah. I ought to rent somewhere of my own. But how can I commit to a six-month tenancy when I don't know what the hell I'm going to do? You really feel like that? I do, Dad. It's like I'm doggy paddling in the middle of some massive great ocean. This isn't like you, love. I know. That's why it's scary. It'll come right. I know it will. You sure about that? Of course it will. You just got to hang on in there. I hope you're right, because sometimes I think, what if it's game over? Oh, something smells good. Mm -hmm. Pea and ham soup. Won't be long. Ah, oh, good. Oh, glad to see you're in a better mood. And why wouldn't I be? I've just done my draft report for the board on Friday. And? Well, it's a pretty good story, actually. Everything on track. So how come Rob left with such a long face? Uh, because I'd just given him a rocket. Oh, you didn't. A very small one. Whatever for? Well, he was taking this business of staff recruitment at rather too leisurely a pace. 
Well, I hope you haven't upset him. He's such a nice chap. Yeah, he may well be. It doesn't hurt to find out how he responds to a bit of pressure. Oh, Brian. And how are your wonderful swishing plans going? Oh, so you're interested all of a sudden. Of course I am. Well, I called Usha, and she's mm. definitely up for being a helper. All right. Anyone else on board? Well, I haven't had a chance to speak to Caroline yet, but I'm hoping she will be. Yeah, she'd be a natural. Yes. And then I had another idea. Alice! Well, yes, she'd be terrific too. But she wouldn't quite have Caroline's authority. No, no, not to meet and greet. I was well, I was thinking Alice could help with displaying the clothes. <laughs> Good idea. If anyone knows a designer label when she sees one, it's our daughter. Yeah. It means I wouldn't have to give it another thought. Leaving you free to guzzle champers and hobnob with some of Borsage's finest. <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Oh, whoever that is, we're about to have lunch. Well, I have to hand it to you, darling. If your swish doesn't get a page in Borsage life, I'll be amazed. Oh. Rob. Hi, Brian. Come on in. Uh, thanks. Well, hello again, Jennifer. Oh, hello, Rob. Oh, I can see you're about to have lunch, so I won't keep you. No, you're very welcome to join us. It's only soup. Oh, no, that's very kind, but I, I won't this time, thanks. You sure? There's plenty. No, no, it's fine. I, I just wanted to show you these, Brian. Oh, yes? I've been on to SBJ personnel, told them what we want. And can they do it? They nearly bit my hand off. I've downloaded their contract terms, so if, if you want to go through them and let me know if you're happy. You'll do. As soon as you come back to me, I'll get on to Gary and press the go button. I'll look through them this afternoon. Right. Well, uh... I'll leave you to your lunch. Many thanks, Rob. No problem. Oh, bye, Jennifer. Oh, bye, Rob. Yeah, bye. There you are, Jenny. The result of one very small rocket. You just be careful. You don't want to lose him. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, darling. In fact, I'd say we understand one another a lot better now. Hmm? That agency Rob Titchener put me on to, they found me a job. Really? Well, that's <sighs> great. What, milking? Yeah. Over near church and 400 cows milked through a 32-point rotary parlour. I'd start later this month. Oh, well done, Pim. Yeah, it's only two weeks, but Garrett, the agency, reckons that he can get me more work over the summer. Nice one, Gary. It's Rob we ought to thank. It was him who put me on to them. Hmm. Churchham? That's quite a long drive. Well, she's early in the morning. There's accommodation available if I want it. Oh, right. What it's like, though, I don't know. I might take a drive over there and have a look. Yeah, good idea. It makes sense to stay over if you can. Yeah, I'll see. Well, better be on my way. Well, where are you going? Mm. Lower Loxley. Josh is giving Freddie some more coaching in halter training. And from what I gather, he needs it. Right, well, I'll see you later. Where is Josh? Um, he should be waiting in the yard. He wanted to get there early so he can have a word with Hayley. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Apparently he hardly ever sees her when he's up at Willow Farm doing the hens. He should be busy with the kids, I expect. Yeah. See you both later. OK. Yeah, see you, Dad. Yeah, and uh, congratulations again on the job, Chris. It's great news. <sighs> Thank you. See you then. Bye. Bye. So, if things go on like this, it could be a really busy summer for me. Sounds like it. Dad seemed pretty cool about me working away this summer. He's pleased with you. We both are. It means I won't have a lot of time to help out here, though. We'll manage. You need to get the experience. And the cash, I expect. <laughs> yeah, I do. But it means you won't get a break, though, you and Dad. So, what's new? So, why don't you take a break now, while I'm still around? What? I can run the farm all right. Well, yeah, I know you can. So... Where's the problem? You and Dad off on a fun break. It's the perfect time. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? So do it then. You need a break. That's true. How about we have a quick look online? So what's this urgent matter you need to see Hayley about? Mm, just hen stuff, you know. Well, I guessed it was hen stuff. Just about the business. Right. So, how do you rate Freddie's chances in the Young Handler competition, Dad? <laughs> Rapid change of subject. Do you think he's in with a chance? Yeah, yeah. There's always a certain amount of luck in it. Freddie's main problem is he doesn't concentrate. Mm, I'd have to agree with you there. He'll just have the animal moving along nicely. Then he'll suddenly go on about something that happened while he was out riding. <laughs> 
Cattle pick up on stuff like that. Yeah, too right, they do. I suppose it would be better on the day. He'll really have his mind on it. Well, let's hope so. He couldn't have had better coaching than he's getting from you, though. I'd like to see him do well. Well, at least he's having a go. That's the main thing. Yeah, and it's a good thing he's getting interested in the livestock, not just the horses. Yep. Right, here we are. Where do you think we'll find Hayley? Um, she'll probably be in the crut barn. OK, I'll park around the back then. How about the Loire Valley? That's not too far for a short break. Plus, you could sample the local wine. I think we could call it with a few days of that. <laughs> oh, what about champagne? Where does that come from? Would you believe champagne? <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that looks nice. Short breaks in the Champagne City. Taste your way around the vineyards of the Route de Champagne. <laughs> Enjoy lunch in a world-famous Champagne house. And they don't say which one. No, but you get authentic local delicacies. Oh, sounds promising. Mm -hmm. Visit local chateau. There you are. What does it say about Reims itself? Uh, let's have a look. We can't spend all our time glugging bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Um, ancient university town lying on the banks of the river... Oh, how do you say that? Ville, I suppose. Famous for its magnificent cathedral where the French kings were traditionally ground. Oh, looks wonderful. Mm. Shall we book it then? Hang on, I think we should run it past your dad first. <laughs> OK. But if he doesn't go for this, I really will start getting worried about his priorities. Hi, Hayley. Oh, hi, Josh. Hi, David. Hi, Hayley. We tracked you down. <laughs> Just putting some posters up. We've got a Borchester Primary School in first thing tomorrow. Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Mm. No problem. Only Josh was hoping for a quick word, weren't you, Josh? Yeah, if you've got a few minutes. Yeah, OK. Have a seat. Thanks. Uh, Dad. What? Oh, uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. Why don't you go and find Freddy? Maybe you could put the halter on Sorrel. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll see you later then. Tell Freddy I won't be long. All right, you are. So how's it going, Josh? Good, thanks. Hens are laying well. Great. So what did you want to see me about? About last week, really. Oh, yeah? Thing is, what I wanted to say was, well, sorry, really. Sorry? When you had to cancel those two markets. I wasn't very nice about it. No, you weren't. I should have talked to you first. I can see that now, before I went and booked them. It might be a good idea from now on. Just so we can avoid these problems. Be cheaper too. Yeah. None of us likes losing money. Well, I've learnt my lesson. Listen, Josh. I was talking to Neil about this and we really admire what you're doing. And we want you to do well. You do know that. Yeah. Thanks. Good. So look, uh, Neil and I are willing to pay half the cost. So, here's 20 quid. Oh. No. Go on, take it. Oh, thanks, Hayley. It means a lot. You've got some great ideas, especially about developing the business. But not yet, right? It's one of the hardest things, matching your supply with your market. The two have to go hand in hand. Yeah, I can see that. But I'm sure you're going to get there. She's a lovely-looking heifer, and so tame. That's because we're always taking her for walks, isn't it, Sorrel? <laughs> Do you know why Gloucesters have that white stripe down their back? No. It's the same reason that rabbits have white tails. Do you know why that is? Yeah, when they're running away from danger, all the other rabbits see this white flash. That's right. It's like an alarm system. <laughs> they hardly need it round here. <laughs> That's true. You haven't got any lions round the estate, have you? <laughs> Not that I've seen. Glad to hear it. Now, um, do you feel all right about putting a halter on? Oh, I've done it loads of times. Good. The first thing is to make sure that the two loops are nice and loose. Like that. That's it. And the smaller one too, the chin strap. OK. That's perfect. Right, in you go. OK.
don't forget to approach her on the left hand side. No, no, left side. Sorry. And talk to her, nice and quietly. Where should we go this time, Sorrel? Fancy a stroll around the orchard today? Right, now slip the halter on. Nice and slow. Well done. See how good she is? Yeah, she's great. Now you need to tighten the head store. Okay. Looks good to me. Now the chin strap. Excellent. Hiya, Freddy. Hi, Josh. Hi, Hayley. How's it going? Oh, your timing's perfect. We were just about to take her out of the pen, weren't we, Freddy? Oh, I better stand back a bit then. No, 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 no need. She needs to get used to lots of people. Yeah. Okay. You won't upset her. She loves all this attention. Okay, Freddy. Don't forget what we talked about last time. Concentrate, that's the main thing. Okay. Just a light tug on the halter and start walking. Come on, Sorrel. Not too fast. That's it. And keep talking to her. I don't think we'll go around to the orchard after all. Maybe we'll walk all the way around the house. That's it. You're doing well. Nice and steady. Not too fast. He's a great instructor. He's very patient. <laughs> I'm not sure Ben would agree with that. Oh, family's different. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. He's brilliant with Freddy. I think he'll do well. He's a very talented young man. Oh, well, we think so. I'm sure you do. <laughs> So, come on, Hayley, what was so vitally important he had to tell you about? Honestly, Mum, it's not a problem. If I can't look after this place for a few days... You can always get Eddie to do a couple of extra shifts. Yeah, or I'm sure Spencer will give me some help. He'll have some extra time until harvest starts. It does sound tempting. Do it then. Go and enjoy yourselves. Well, what about you getting a break? It looks as if you're going to be working all summer. Oh, I'll be fine. Think of all the different farms I'll get to see. It'll be a wonderful experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who needs sunny beaches when you can have dairy parlours? <laughs> How are you two? Hi. Hi. How'd it go? Oh, Josh was great. Freddie got a masterclass in livestock handling. Mm, did it sink in, though? <laughs> well, you never quite know with Freddie. You don't. We'll have to see what happens on Sunday. You know, I was really proud of him tonight. Yeah, it was kind of him, giving Freddie all that time. Yeah, that, but um, there was something else, too. Huh? You know he was so insistent on seeing Hayley before we met up with Freddie. Yeah, what was all that about? <sighs> He wanted to apologise. Apologise? Josh? Mm. What for? Well, apparently, when he heard that Hayley had cancelled those extra farmer's markets, he, um... Well, he got a bit cross. Oh, no, he wasn't rude to her. No, no, no. Hayley said he was just a bit, you know, um... forthright. <laughs> anyway, he said he wanted to go around and say sorry. And Hayley was dead impressed. She said how mature he'd been. Josh, mature. This is my brother we're talking about. <laughs> well done, Joshy. Absolutely. <laughs> I must say I felt very proud when Hayley told me. And now there's more good news. Thanks to Pip. Oh, the job, you mean? No. We are having a holiday. What's all this? It's time you had a break, you and <laughs> Mum. So, I'm going to look after the farm while you two go on holiday. Are you serious? Of course we're serious. We just need you to agree. <laughs> Well, give me a minute. You've rather sprung this on me. <laughs> OK, well, have a look at the website while I put the kettle on. It looks really fantastic. Mm, let's see, then. Thanks, Pip. You're welcome. What did I do to deserve such a brilliant family? <laughs> I've no idea. But somehow you managed to pull it off. Nice one, Dad. Do sit down, both of you. All right. Thanks. Thank you for coming round. Oh, no problem. But I'm afraid I haven't got a lot of time, Mum. <sighs> Nor me. I've got a date with a pint glass. Well, I'm sure this won't take long. Linda and I thought we should have a quick meeting to review progress. So where is she? Unfortunately, she's been delayed. <sighs> she's just phoned me from Grey Gables. Some problem over bookings and she wants to get it sorted for Caroline. Ah, oh, well... I may as well get started then, eh? Yeah, yeah, I do need to be back at the ball for five. Let's give her a couple of minutes. 
You'll be glad to hear there's good news on the Flower Festival. Yeah? It raised just over £1,500. Whoa, that's great. I think it's wonderful. So is that before paying damages to yours truly? Try to pass off emotion pain as milk. I wouldn't make too much of that if I were you. I was seriously traumatised. I don't recall anyone else ever dipping their teacup in a flower display. <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. So... What's new since we last met? Oh, before we start, can I just say I'm sorry the Cayley's having to be on the Friday night, but the Saturday booking for the bull upstairs has been in the diary for ages. Friday it is, then. Mm. It's probably no bad thing. We don't want people waking up with sore heads on the Sunday of the games. You're getting a proper collar, aren't you? Mm. Of course. None of the strip in the willow business. I can't be doing with that. I expect Kenton and Jolene have got it all in hand. Absolutely. So, how are the entries coming in for the games? Well, there's been some interest in the tug-of-war. The darts team are very keen. <laughs> They've got the weight anyway. <laughs> oh, and uh, Alistair's organising a cricket team entry. Good. Alan says he'll enter a church team to include bell ringers, apparently. I can't see them doing much. <laughs> One pull and they'll let go again. <laughs> <laughs> what about other events? Uh, yeah, well, a bit quiet there. We might have to start twisting arms. I'm going in for the sheath tossing. Good for you. Ed doesn't know it yet, but I've entered him, I know. Oh, Yeah. He's always telling me how he's been chucking bales about since before he could walk. Now's his chance to prove it. And no one else? Well, not that I know of. Well, as you say, we'd better start twisting arms. So, is that it then? No, um, there is something else. I was hoping Linda would be here to tell you herself. So what's that? Well, apparently she's approached a local performance poet... Logan McGregor. You're kidding me. Do you know him? No, it's just the words. Performance poet. It seems he's a genuine Scot. What's he going to do? I think the clue's in the title. Performance poetry? Presumably. It'll be a disaster. And he's happy to open the Highland Games as well. It gets worse. Uh, Well, if it's been decided, then, you know. No, it can happen. I'm afraid it's got to now. What about my man? Your man? The clan chief. He's agreed to come. I thought you'd drawn a blank on that, Jezza. I've been in delicate negotiations. I couldn't say anything till I knew for sure. Is this for real, Jezza? On my life. He's the genuine hairy article, and he's all signed up. So what do we do now? Linda's going to have to stand her man down. We don't need him. Well, I'll tell her. But what she's going to make of it, I don't know. There we are. George's garden. All done. What do you think of that then, George? Your own garden. Is it really mine? Yeah, it certainly is. That's why Grandad's put the sign up. And the little fence all around it. That's telling everyone else to keep out. <laughs> thank you, Grandad. Ah, you're welcome, George. You better say thank you to Ed, too. It was him dug it all last night. Yeah. Hey, now you can plant the vegetable seeds. What shall I plant first? Well, you've got those carrots, haven't you? Ed gave them to you this morning. Can I plant them now? Yeah, of course. You know where they are? In the shed? Yeah. Oh, bring your rake as well, George. OK. Oh, thanks, Dad. Looks really lovely. With the fence and everything. Well, as long as it keeps him happy. Well, as long as it stops him praying all the time. <laughs> I know everyone thinks it's sweet, but... Uh, it's also very irritating. Yeah, just a bit. Mm. I'd like him to move on now. Well, if having a small garden helps... Oh, I'm sure it will. Hey, careful with that rake, Georgie. Yeah. Look, we need to rake it all over before we plant anything. No problem. Uh, I should start in the corner and work inwards. OK. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Uh. Shall I let you into a secret, George? What? Your grandpa Eddie has got something else for your garden. Now, what would you say to one of his gnomes? Yeah. (laughs) You'd love that, wouldn't you, George? Which sort is it? Well, we don't know that yet. Uh, Grandpa was going to look in his shed and see what gnomes were in there. I said I'd go and pick it up for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. That's no problem. Mum, can we go and get some more seeds? Uh, Well, let's get the carrots planted first, shall we? After that, can we go and get some more? (laughs) Yeah, all right. So, what else do you want to grow in your garden, George? So they reckon they can get our milking team together in that timescale? They seem to think so. 
Well, in that case, I shall recommend to the board that we leave further recruitment to them. Fine, if that's what you want. You still don't sound totally happy with this. It's your decision, Brian. But I'd like to have been more involved in the selection process. It's not just a group of individuals. They have to work as a team. I'm sure SPJ are aware of that. Well, maybe. But with agencies, it's mostly done on paper qualifications and industry gossip. Yeah, OK, we'll end up with a bunch of people having the right skills, but will they all gel? Well, I thought that was your job. <laughs> well, yes. Along with Becky and John, of course. No, don't get me wrong. We'll get the best out of them. You can be sure of that. Good. But if we'd pick them ourselves, we'd be in there with a head start. Come on, Rob. This is going to free you up. You won't have to spend goodness knows how long reading through a lot of boring references. <laughs> True. You can leave all that tedious stuff to SPJ. Meaning you can concentrate on what really matters. Getting those expensive cows of ours to perform their little socks off. Oh, I'll do that all right. Well, I'm jolly glad to hear it. Well, now we've arrived at this meeting of minds, how about we seal it with a drink? Yeah, why not? The ball all right? So the church fundraising thermometer should be going up to £4,500. That's not bad. It's very good. Everyone did really well. That is still a long way short of 30000 though. It is, yes. Plus that. Hey, George, don't take too many. There's a good boy. OK. We're buying seeds for his new garden. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You'll have him praying again. Sorry. He was doing a fair bit of that at Beth's christening, I noticed. Mm. Yeah, well, that's what the garden's for. And the seeds. Ah. A diversionary tactic. Right. I'm sorry to hold you up. Oh, don't worry. George's obviously quite happy. Your mum's trying to find me a jar of mayonnaise. Right. The shelf's empty, but she thinks she's got a new case in the back somewhere. Oh, well, we are a bit late. She must have been about to close. I've just come from a meeting about the Highland Games. I knew I was cutting it fine. Oh, yeah? How were the plans coming on? It's all a bit awkward, actually. I was hoping Linda was going to be there, but she got held up. And I was left with a decision I'd rather not have made. Oh, dear. What Linda's going to make of it, I don't know. George, that's far too many. You won't have room for them all. Why not? Mummy was telling me about your new garden, George. You're going to grow lots of nice things. Yeah, we won't ever have to buy vegetables again. That's wonderful. <laughs> Come on, let's get rid of some of these, shall we? Aubergines, you don't need those. Yes, I do. <laughs> Look, let's choose the ones we've got room for. Peas. Now, we like them, don't we? Oh, I love peas. How about some radishes? Uh. OK, no radishes. Uh, what about lettuce? Yeah. You could do some of those colourful salad leaves as well. Yeah. Uh, right, I think we should put all the rest back on the rack, don't you? OK. You're going to be entering your veg in the flower and produce show, George. If so, we shall all have to watch out. Uh, time to come clean, I think. He doesn't exist, does he? This Scottish icon. Are you impugning my integrity, Kent and Archer? Uh, let's think about that. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> so, who is he, this guy? Oh, some hairy Scottish chieftain Jezza claims to know. He's mm. a clan leader, and I don't claim to know him. He's an old drinking buddy. Yeah, it's a good story, mate, but no one's going to buy into it. Listen, just remember if I hadn't he stepped in when I did, we'd have been looking at both. It's just Vels and William McGonagall. Who? Well, Linda had lined up a Scottish poet to open the Highland Games. An alleged Scottish poet. Yeah. Believe me, Neil. It wasn't a great prospect. Oh. <laughs> the arm, the arm, the glorious arm. Reciting these lines is just money for jam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could open the games, Jasper. I'll <laughs> ah, get Doogie. He's your man. Oh. Right, you're round, Neil, my boy. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I can't stop. No, he tells us. I only came in for a quick half. Well, you can stay for another one, can't no, you? No, honestly, I can't. I've got to deliver a pig. It's outside in the car. You left a pig in the car? Oh, it's one of Eddie's. He's sitting on a seat with a fishing rod in his hand. <laughs> ah, right. Somebody who will buy us a drink. Huh? Evening, Jack. Ah. Hi. Uh, excuse me, I've got a scoot. Yeah? Oh, OK. Yeah, cheers, yeah. Neil. Yeah. Was it something I said? <laughs> He's got a pig to deliver. Uh, right. Um, now, who was it who wanted a drink? That's very good of you, Brian. That's a lager, sir. OK. Rob? Uh, thanks, Pint of Shires. Right you are. 
So, can I interest either of you two gents in tickets for the Bulls, Cayley? Two weeks' time? What do you reckon, Rob? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's my thing, actually. Oh, go on. I'm sure the ladies would love to see you in a kilt. <laughs> There we are. All safely planted. Will they be growing? Well, it's a bit soon for that. They'll just be starting to wake up. I think I'd better water them. That's a very good idea. Got your seeds planted then? Grandad. <laughs> Look who I've brought for your garden. Picky! <sighs> See, he's got his fishing rod. We'll have to make him a pond to fish in, won't we? Oh, that's brilliant, Dad. Georgie, what do you say? Thank you, God, for my fishing pig. Amen. <laughs> what about Grandad and Grandpa Eddie? Thanks, Grandad. Oh, you're very welcome, George. I don't think you need to thank God right now. You can say your prayers at bedtime, can't you? Will that be all right? I'm sure that'll be fine. Or you can save it for church on Sunday. Will you come to church with me next time, Mum? Me? You must have lots of prayers to say, too. <laughs> uh, George, why don't you go and get your watering can so we can water these seeds in? OK. You know where it is? I know. <laughs> what? Well, I think you might call that an own goal. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought the garden was supposed to stop him being so devout. Oh, I know. But now he's got you going to church as well. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Hi, David. Just been up to move the electric fence. Oh, great. Elizabeth's going to be here any minute. Oh, no problem. Eddie will be here by four. I'll bring him up to speed on the dry cows. Then I'll take Ben over to Jill's. Right. Which means, by the time you picked up Freddy, you should be at the showground by... About 5.30, I'd say. Oh, that's perfect. We should have the heifer settled in by then. Who's staying over with her? And not Elizabeth, I assume. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't see her dossing down in the stockmen's quarters, do you? <laughs> Probably not. No, I think she's arranged for Gareth to go over later. I imagine he'll be there for the weekend. Oh, good. He'll be able to show Freddie the ropes. Absolutely. Yeah, here she is. I don't know how Freddie's feeling about it, but Josh seems quite nervous. Does he? Yeah, he so wants Freddie to do well. Well, he couldn't possibly have done any more. I'm really impressed with how seriously he's taken it. So am I. And his patience with Freddy. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. You got her in the trailer OK, then? Yeah, Gareth gave me a hand. Oh, good. Not that I needed him. She's so quiet, I could have got her in on my own. Sounds promising. Yeah, she'll be fine, I'm sure. Look, I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Oh, no problem. I just got back from the dentist. You know Lily's had a brace fitted. Oh, dear. Mm. I was just leaving when Jennifer phoned. This big event of hers. Swishing? Yeah, she was full of it. I know. She's bent my ear about it, too. So what do you think? Uh, not really my cup of tea, I'm afraid. I'm not even sure I've got anything that would fit the bill. Oh, come on, love. You've got some smashing stuff. So why would I want to get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> right, then, Elizabeth. We'd better be on our way. OK. Yeah, you don't want to leave her in the trailer any longer than you have to. I'll see you later, love. OK. See you later. Safe journey. Hi. Oh, hello. Thought you might have been Tony. No news yet on the test? Not yet. Alistair's up there now. Oh, no, I saw his car. Oh, I've been trying not to think about it. If she's a reactor, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Everything OK in the cheese room? Yeah, fine. Uh, Mum, is it OK if I ask Rob Brown for dinner one night? Rob? Yeah, he's on his own next week. Well, he's on his own most weeks. Well, I know, but it must be pretty miserable for him. Maybe so. He's great company. Is he? And he's been so good with Henry. Oh, I see. Uh, so is that OK? I I'll do all the cooking, obviously. Yes, OK. If you want. Oh, thanks. <coughs> Pat? Yes? It's all right. She's clear. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, I'll see. Means I can take her down the market next week. And that's it. All over. No more cows at Bridge Farm. No. And you know what? I'm getting used to it already.
I think she's feeling a little bit nervous. Well, I'm not surprised. She'll never have seen a crowd like this. All right, sweetheart. You're quite safe. Who won? Get on. It's busy, isn't it? They must have had a lot of entrance this year. Yeah. Yeah, the show's doing well. I think this must be our pitch. Number 22. Yeah, 22, look. Right, young lady. This is your home for the next couple of days. I'll tie her off. Okay. Come on. Come on. That's it. We could do with a bit more straw down here. Oh, uh, well, can't we take a wadge from the bale next door? <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm sure they won't mind. There are four bales in the trailer. We can replace it later. Yeah. There we go. I think I'll give her a quick brush. She's looking a bit jaded from the travel. Yeah, she could do with the sprucing up. So that's what we'll do, all right, Sorrel? Hey, you're good as gold, aren't you, girl? Hey, what do you think of the jersey, then? Mmm, lovely animal, isn't she? Fantastic animal. Not so nice as our Sorrel, though. Definitely not. <laughs> and she'll be the only Gloucester in the show, that's guaranteed. Yeah, it's bound to be. You know, one of these days, I'd like to try making some real Gloucester cheese. Did Freddie mention it? No. Well, I'm not talking about supermarket double Gloucester. I mean, this will be the real stuff. What, unpasteurised? Yeah, and only made from the milk of Gloucester cows. I mean, that's why you don't see much of it around. What a fabulous idea. Yeah. I must have a talk to Helen about it. Is there any water in that trough? Um, yep, plenty. She's got some hay, so she should be fine. Yeah. So is it single Gloucester you're talking about? Yeah. I mean, it'd be great if we could serve it in the restaurant. Whether we'll ever make enough for that, I have no idea. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing to have a Lower Loxley Gloucester cheese? Somehow it feels exactly right. It's no accident we went for this breed, you know. Nigel just understood about things like that. Yeah, I know. Oh, he would have been so proud to have one of his animals here. And to have Freddie leading her. The guy had me down as a cautious investor. Huh, that was a bit cheeky. Oh, no, no, he didn't just come out with it. We had to fill in this questionnaire, our attitude to risk. Oh, yeah. Tony came out as... Pretty cautious. Oh, that's not a surprise. <laughs> Whereas you were more adventurous, weren't you, Pat? Oh, I quite surprised myself. Seems I'm a bit of a risk taker. Yeah, I can see I'll have my work cut out keeping her away from casinos. <laughs> not to mention Felpersham races. Yeah, all right. It's only because I don't fancy seeing our money stuck away in some boring savings account. It ought to be doing something useful. Oh, you're quite taken with some of these solar energy funds, aren't you, love? Well, that's a possibility. Any of the green technologies, really. As long as your money is safe. Oh, don't worry about that. It is your pension. It'll be a secure investment, whatever it is. Mr Cautious will see to that. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens now? Our chap's going to send us a range of suggested funds. And basically we choose what we want in our portfolio. And what about the property idea? You were thinking about buying somewhere in Felpersham to pick up on student rentals? Oh, we're beginning to think that might not be such a good plan. Yeah, sounds like a lot of work, unless we're using an agency to manage things. And paying them, of course. Yeah, we don't really want to be trekking over to Felpersham all the time to sort out problems. Right. So we'll wait to hear what Dan Crossman suggests and then make a decision on investment funds. Well, don't let Tom talk you into spending all the money on the farm. We won't. But he's right about this being an ideal time for capital investment. Oh, don't worry. We'll think it through carefully, though. You've already done us a massive favour by buying the farm. Oh, we were glad to, weren't we, Tony? Yeah, of course we were. And a wise investment, Dad. When you look at what's happened to land prices since you took out the mortgage. Exactly. Yeah, we might have to remind Tom about that. Well, we're both very grateful to you. As long as you keep running it as you are, we couldn't be happier, could we? No. Nope. It feels to be in safe hands. <laughs> right, well, I'd better be on my way. Oh, thanks for agreeing about Rob, Mum. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I didn't tell you. I, I saw Auntie Lillian outside the shop yesterday. Oh, they're back now, are they? Yeah, she seemed in a bit of a rush. Hardly had time to speak to me. Really? Considering she's just had a holiday, you'd think she'd be a bit more relaxed, wouldn't you? <laughs> See you then. Bye, love. See you, love. Oh, dear. I wonder what's up with Lillian. Huh. Probably upset that her tan has started to fade. <laughs> so, um, what's this about Rob? 
Oh, Helen wants to ask him to dinner one night. Oh, didn't know she was that friendly with him. He's good with Henry, apparently. I'm afraid I haven't forgotten. This is the man who hung around at our herd sale, gloating, probably. Oh, come on, Pat. He's a nice enough chap. He's also part of the big business that's out to ruin dairy farming. Well, that's a bit harsh. You've got to accept that people have different views on these things. Well, I know what mine are. Anyway, uh, you've agreed to him coming round? Well, I didn't have much choice, since Helen's so keen. I can't say I'm particularly enthusiastic. I'm not sure why we're going to all this trouble. She'd have to be shampooed again on Sunday. I'm sorry, I wasn't happy with her. Yeah, obviously not. Over the next two days, there are going to be dozens of people looking at her. Oh, hundreds more like... Exactly. So she needs to look good. Especially with our board up there. It's a shop window for Lower Loxley. Yeah, 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 quite right. Thank you. <laughs> you always were a perfectionist. Even when we were kids. Was I? Yeah. I remember one year in particular, getting one of Dad's heifers ready for the show. I spent hours on her. She was looking great. Only little Miss Perfect here insisted on shampooing her all over again. I don't remember that. Well, you were only a squirt at the time. And did you win? I did. Must have been that dairy heifer classes got a first for the breed. There you are, then. I can still remember Dad saying how well she was turned out. And did you tell Dad it was down to me? Of course not. I was basking in the glory. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. There we are. Hey. Now, not even you can be unhappy with that. No, nope, she'll do. Won't you, girl? Well, let's hope Freddie can pull off a stunning victory on Sunday. Oh, I don't care about that. He's having a go. That's the main thing. Yeah, of course. I'm so pleased he's getting interested in the rare breed side of things as well as his horses. You know, he really does seem to have an affinity with animals. Well, it's the family business, isn't it? Like his grandfather and great-grandfather. Yep. Like the family trade. And if he decides he wants to be a farmer, I'll be delighted. Well, still early days. Can't choose a career for them. No, no, they have to make their own way. Exactly. Now, if you're happy with Sorrel here... What say we go and find Ruth and the boys? Yeah, good idea. I always think a trip to the show isn't complete without a picnic. <laughs> OK. Here looks a good spot. Spread out the rug, can't you, Josh? OK. All right, Freddy, you can put the basket down. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, me too. Right, let's see about this cake, shall we? I wonder if Mum will let me take Sorrel for a walk later on. You'll have to ask her. Hope so. I can't think she'll mind as long as you stay inside the exercise paddock. Are you going to help me, Josh? I will if you make it into a serious practice and don't mess around. I don't mess about. Oh, yeah, right. There. How's that for a cake? Wow. Where's the knife? The sandwiches first. They should be in there, Freddy. OK. Can you see them? Yeah, got them. There you go. Thanks. Help yourselves, but leave some for your dad and Elizabeth. I'm looking forward to seeing the poultry. Neil thought there'd be some rare breeds. You'll have plenty of time tomorrow. First thing tomorrow, we need to go and check out the opposition. You are taking it seriously. Are you going to come with me, Josh? Mm. You'd be better off putting in some extra training. Oh, Sorrel knows what she's doing. It's not Sorrel I'm worried about. <laughs> I just want it to be Sunday. So you're feeling confident, are you, Freddie? Yeah, I just can't wait. <laughs> 